from your seats. Yep, thank you, Rebecca. And uh, now I'm going to uh, set up something a little bit more classic. Um, I know that things get a little uh, dreary uh, this time of year, so I'd like to try to think of a way to lighten the mood. Now, it's kind of interesting that all these uh, candle holders here are actually quite red, because I'm actually going to borrow a light from one of the candles here. I think I'll borrow it from your table, sir, right here. Don't worry, just leave the candle holder where it is. <laughs> and here comes the and here comes the fun. <laughs> and the best part was I even got a little ding every time it went correctly. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, we're now going to try uh, something a little bit more classic, once I can get this mic stand to stay put. Actually, you know, uh, I've been thinking about magic lately, and um, one of the things that's been, uh, that's been bugging me is this, this expression, the hand is always quicker than the eye, right? So, I was just trying to see which one was quicker, the hand or the eye, I don't think I could tell. But then again, if the hand really were quicker than the eye, they wouldn't have arrested Pee Wee Herman, so. Uh... Oh, glad somebody got that joke. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> this is an old classic uh, called the zombie ball, and uh, we're about, you'll about to see why it's basically an old technique to try to invite spirits into the room. I'm just prepping it right now. Okay, so here we go. We're now going to attempt to see if we can uh, summon the spirits here. Just focus on the ball. Everybody just focus on the ball. <laughs> just what I need right now, being kicked in my ball. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go, Lee. Now for my next trick, uh, I just need to see if I can find my sword kicking around here because I was going to do some sword swallowing. Now you see the thing is, I would do the sword. Now you see the thing is, I uh, doing sword swallowing is a little iffy. Um, I'm especially afraid of doing it in front of the uh, this audience because I'm afraid the ladies in the audience already know how this trick is done. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so now on to our next trick. Let me see if I can... Oh, yes, I completely forgot about this. Um, has anybody here heard... Excuse me. Just wanted to make sure I actually have a complete. Sorry, just wanted to make sure it hadn't broken on me. Um, anybody here? Uh, ever, has anybody here ever heard of a guy by the name of Yuri Geller by any chance? Um, okay, basically back in the 1970s, he was the psychic who claimed he could bend spoons with the power of his mind. Hmm. Now the thing is, I don't believe in psychic for now, but I'm going to try to see if I can replicate his effect right now with the before your eyes. <laughs> Of course, I show you the spoon, but you know, you're all in the audience and I'm up on stage and it just makes things a little bit more uh, difficult. But anyway, um, for my next trick, for my next trick, I need another volunteer. And uh, I also need a volunteer who has a $5 bill on them. Anybody here got a $5 bill? Oh, uh, Anybody? Yeah, there's someone right here. Oh, uh, perfect. You got a $5 bill on you? Oh, perfect. This gets me the perfect chance to use the blindfold. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 not on you, on me. <laughs> Okay. So first thing, uh, by the way, what's your name? Jules. Everyone give Jules a round of applause, please. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to try something a little unusual here. Uh, first I'm going to, oh, sorry, this mic stand is not being very cooperative right now. Sorry, apparently it's not being very cooperative. Give me a sec here to, thank you. Sorry, that was a lot of, that was a sudden last minute problem there. Anyway, so what I'd like you to do for me is I'd first like you to check to make sure this blindfold is completely opaque for me. Good thing, Big Mike. Big Mike is here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Okay, good. Next, I'm going to uh, take. A, I'm going to put the blindfold on, and I'd like you to show everyone the five dollar bill that you've got, please. Okay, just, yeah, just show it to everybody while I put the blindfold on. Hang on, this is going to take a second. Oh, sorry, wrong way up. Okay, now I'd like you to do me a favor, and now that I can't see, I'd like you to hand the five dollar bill to me, please. Okay, so good. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it up really nice and neat here. And actually, just do me a favor and take that from me. Now, I'd like you to do me a favor and open it up, and that was just to give me an idea of the braille and the feel for the ink. And now I'd like you to do me a favor and try to grab the serial number for me. I'd like you to take a look at the serial number, and I'm going to try to see if I can read your mind for it or read the feel of the ink, whichever, whichever works better. Okay, I'm sensing it starts with an A, mm -hmm. AF, yeah. 309, this is the tough part. Six six nine six. Did I get it? Yeah. All right, everyone. Thank you. Give us give a round of applause, please. Thank you for all right. Now the fact that this opaque, uh, the fact that this blindfold is opaque, is going to come into play. Um, well, actually, right now, we're actually going to uh, try our next trick. And for that, I'm going to need a volunteer from the audience. I can't see anything right now because of my glasses. So um, everybody, just if somebody comes up on stage, just applaud for them for me. <laughs> Hello, somebody, anybody? Oh, okay. I'm seeing a big blur of red coming my direction. Okay. Um, what's your name, by the way? Uh, Rebecca. Hey, what do you know? Two Rebeccas in one night. This is kind of cool. Everyone, give Rebecca a round of applause, please. All right, good. Now the microphone's can't stay. Huh? Okay. Uh, for this next trick, what I'd like you to do for me is I'd like you to shuffle through the deck and select any one card once I've got the blindfold on. Do not do it until. Oh, uh, first things first, you better check to make sure the blindfold is okay. See. No, I just wanted to be able to make sure that you couldn't see through. No. That was, the, that was the whole idea. Okay, so I'm just going to put the blindfold on now. And now I'm going to try to, uh, I'd like you to do me a favor, ripple through the deck, uh, shuffle it, whatever you want to do. Pick out any one card that you feel uh, comfortable with. By the way, I'm sensing somebody here knows an Edward. Does anybody here know an Edward? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. He, he goes by Ed. Oh, he goes by Ed. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, is he a bit of an artist by any chance? Um, something kind of a, something that very, very works a lot with his hands? Um, when he's lonely at night, I guess. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, like I said, uh, that's probably, yeah, like I said, that's, that's probably where the creativity comes from. Uh, tell him to, uh, tell him to knock it off. The psychic vibrations are starting to hurt my head. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, could you do me a favor and grab that card out that you uh, that you want uh, that you selected? And I'd like you to do me a favor and hand the card to me. Hand the card to me. Okay, is the card? In? Okay, I can't see which way this is. Okay, so I can't uh, tell if this is upside down or right side up. Or is this facing the audience now? Uh, yes. yes. It is. Okay, good. I'm good. Okay, good. Now I'm going to try to see if I can read your minds collectively for this card. Okay. I keep getting this as the power of five in in crazy eights. Um, I keep sensing it's a black card. Hang on. Um, face card. I keep wanting to say... Uh, I keep wanting to say a spade. Queen of spades. And uh, thanks again, Rebecca, for coming up. And uh, well, like I said, we, uh, we'll call on another volunteer now. Thanks again, everyone. Give Rebecca a round of applause, please. Uh, I'm gonna put my blind. I'm gonna put my glasses back on because I really, really want to be able to see you, all of you lovely people. And um, let's see. So, uh, anybody know what time it is right now? No. Pardon? Court? Hammer time. Hammer time. Okay. No. But uh, but in all seriousness, the only reason I ask is because does anybody here? Uh, I'm, I'm looking for a, vol a new volunteer, preferably somebody who has a watch. Uh, you know, like a like a wristwatch or something along those lines. Okay, yeah, come on up. Feel free. <laughs> now, this is the reason you're. The reason I'm calling up a volunteer is because of the fact that this is a close-up effect that I would normally uh, do it. I would normally do a roundtable for stuff, but I'm going to be doing it on stage because, well, I am running out of stuff to do. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, so like I said, I'd like you to do me a favor. Just loan me your wristwatch for a second here. Okay. Now, the normal thing is though is that you, you can you all see the second hand moving on this watch? Can you all see the second hand moving? Okay, well, for those of you who can see it, uh, please affirm for those who please affirm for those who can't. Now, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to try to stop time locally, and uh, he'll be able to ver verify it, and so will you guys in the front. I'm going to move the watch over my hand, just give a quick little wave, and I'm going to try to get it to stop. Okay? So here we go. The count of three. One, two, three. 
That's the second read. That's <laughs> second hand stopped in motion. Can you see this? Like I said, but you can you can verify for them. It's, it's stopped. Yeah. No, like I said, I just give the watch a little shake and it starts moving again. Oh, yes. Everyone, give them a round of applause, please. And thanks again. So, like I said, uh, we've done. Now, let's see. We've done the zombie ball. We've done that. Oh, the book test. I completely forgot about that. Um, we're merging a little bit more with cementalism now. So, for this one, I need yet another volunteer, preferably. So. How about you uh, fiddling with your hair? We haven't had you up yet. Come on up here. Give yourself a round. Yeah, everyone, give a round of applause, please. All right. So, what I'd like you to do for me is there's a stack of books there. Just give me a second to move the stuff off top of it. Okay, there's a stack of books there. I'd like you to go through and pick any book that you'd like. Just go ahead and pick any book you like. It really doesn't matter. Have you got one? Yes. Okay, now what I'd like you to do for me is I'd like you to flip through to any page in that book. Okay, now I'd like you to select any word on that page. Okay, now what I'd like you to do for me is I'd like you to memorize the word, the page number and the word and close the book again and just slip it down there. Okay, now what I'd like you to do for me is because of the fact that I need, a, I need a focusing center in order to be able to do this next trick. You know, I, I always have difficulty with books I can't read very well. So in order for this to work, I'd like you to do me a favor and write the page number and the word inside this circle on this post-it note. This will help me focus. Also, the writing it also puts it, uh, further imprints it into your memory, so which basically makes it easier for me to read. Okay, is it written? Mm -hmm. Now I'd like you to take the post-it note, fold it into half and fold it in half again, like fold it into quarters. So it forms like a nice little square. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take the post-it note back from you, and we're going to tear it up. This is just to make sure that I can't cheat. At least that's the idea. So I'd like you to do me a favor and just continue tearing that up a little bit more, and then stick those in your pocket for me. Sorry about that, got a little bit of a cough there. Anyway, so what I'd like you to do for me is I'm not going to try to read your mind for the word and the page number. Uh, for those of you, if any of you did see the secret of this trick, please don't spoil it. And I think I saw one person who did see the secret, so... Like I said, if any of you saw the secret, please don't reveal it to her, because like I said, we're, we're trying to keep this, we're trying to keep the illusion alive. So like I said, um, okay, so hang on, um, I'm sensing the page number is odd. Um, I'm sensing a four is the second digit. I'm sensing page 143. Yeah. And I'm sensing the word is very, very exact. Um, I keep, I keep wanting to say there's an O as the second letter. It keeps kind of going like this. I'm not quite sure why. I keep wanting to say like I'm getting to the point of it, but I'm not quite sure how. <laughs> yeah, I think the word was point. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, thanks again. You're gonna love it. Anyway, thank you guys for all right, so we've done a book test, we've done that. Actually, I've got two ver other variations of the book test, um, which will be kind of cool. So for this one, I'd like another volunteer. Come on, let's not be shy. Yeah. Yeah, come on back up. All right, so for this next one, since we've already used one of the books, I'd like you to pick any one of the other remaining. Okay, now I'd like you to pick a second one of the others and, and pass it to me. Okay, this is good, this is good. First things first, I'd like you to hand me your book for a second here, because I'm gonna flip to you and flip to the audience to show that it is in fact a regular book. There are no, you know, secret compartments, no, you know, multiple word repeats, you know, you know, not every page is the same word, what have you. Okay, so like I said, so just, uh, that's, so that's completely normal. Just a normal book. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you to the audience as well here. Okay, good, so now I want you to take this, now we're going to flip in my book, and whatever page you tell me to stop on is the page you're going to flip to in your book, okay? Okay, so hang on. Uh, tell me when to stop. Uh, stop. Okay, you're going to flip to page 46 in that book. Page 46. Like I said, 46. Okay, so now I'm going to have you look at the first word on that page. And uh, first things first, I'm also going to try, um, first things first, I'm getting there's an image on that page. Yep. There's an image on that page, right? Lower part of the page. There isn't, a, there isn't an image. I could have sworn there was an image on that page. Never mind. Anyway, just focus on the first word. <coughs> Maybe, um, I, I keep sensing R is the second letter. The first word in the text on that page. The, sec the second letter is R. I keep getting a visual, uh, a very visual of parallel lines. 
Um, I keep seeing the word track. Am I correct? Yeah, that's right. All right, thanks again. Woo! <laughs> for the final one. Uh, we're now going to get rid of the second book. And for this one, I'd like, uh, I'd like a third volunteer to come on up and pick any one of the three remaining books. So come on up. Somebody? Somebody. Come on. Let's not all be. Use the newspaper. Okay, there we go. What's your name, by the way? Everyone give Bree a round of applause, please. So what we're going to do is we're just simply going to flip through here, and you're going to tell me when to stop, okay? Okay, right there. Perfect, thank you. I'd like you to take a look at the first word on this page, please. First word on this page, so I can't see it. Okay. Um, you can, do, do you memorize it? Yes. Good, thank you. Um, I'm sensing it's a four-letter word. No, it's not the F word. <laughs> okay, no. Um, uh, seriously, it was a four-letter word. Always the second letter. I keep getting a sense of multiples. More. Was I correct? You got it. Okay, word more. Thanks again. So like I said, we've now used practically every book in the uh, we've used practically every book in the group. So uh, we'll leave the books now and move on to oh yes, I forgot about this one. You see, the thing is though, is that because of the fact that springtime's coming on, and the fact that you know we've everybody's looking forward to the summer, you know more potential and stuff like that, right? Well, the thing is, people literally don't know that as that as, uh, as the springtime comes near, our possibilities multiply. You see, we've only got one in six here, and everybody thinks that, you know, like, uh, one die, it's only one in six possibilities. But in reality, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> now for my next trick. This one's an old classic. Uh, has anybody here seen the Chris Angel episode where Chris Angel penetrates a window? Yeah. Okay, this is kind of a miniaturized version of that. So what we're going to do is, um, well actually before I do, I'm just going to uh, grab a pen here. Can everybody see that this, sorry, just uh, let me pick this. Can everybody see this is solid? Like I said, so completely solid. Like I said, can everybody see this completely solid? Like I said, not going anywhere. Like I said, that was just intended as a little joke there. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put the uh, we're going to put the cards uh, right in here. Like I said, we're going to put the cards right in here. What is that? Like I said, it's a like I said, it's just a little it's just a little window. <laughs> well, like I said, if you get the idea of how this trick is done, this is exactly how Chris Angel did the trick. So, call us a little reveal for you. Call us uh, my one trick revealed. Anyway, I do me I do me a quick favor and I just penetrate the cards. Like I said, just penetrate the cards with the pen. That's not the impressive bit, obviously. We give a little quick uh, we give a little quick wave here with the uh, we give a little quick wave here on the cards. At least that's the idea. <laughs> and like I said, when we pull the cards out, when we pull the cards out, you see the cards have been penetrated, but the window is still solid. Now, like I said, if you figured out how that was done, that's exactly how Chris Angel did it in the big scale. Huh. Yeah, so, like I said, hopefully that was a little reveal that you guys enjoyed. Now, on to our, la uh, on to our next trick. Uh, first things first, I have to check the time before we, uh, first things first, I have to check the time. Okay, good. That gives us enough time to be, for me to be able to pull off one more. Uh, for, for me to be able to pull off another one. This one I need, uh, this one's another card slash mentalism trick, so I need another volunteer. Okay, Rebecca, come back up, come back up. Okay, so for this one I'd like you to do me a favor. Uh, this time I'd like you to shuffle the cards, pick any one you like. Um, shuffle the cards, pick any one you like. Um, and uh, do me a favor, after you've taken that one out, lay it face down on the table for me. Uh, by the way, first things first, I'd like to show you all. This is my wallet. Uh, we're going to be using this in a second. Okay, let me know when you picked out that one card. Can and I look at it? Yeah, go ahead and look at it. Show it to everybody, but not to me. I'm going to look away while you do this. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and stick it down on the table. Okay, perfect. So now what we're going to do is I'm now going to take it and slip it in my wallet. Like I said, no way I can see it. We're just going to slip it inside the wallet here. And like I said, so like I said, there's absolutely no way of seeing through this. I'd like you to put this in your pocket for me. Now she can identity thief me. <laughs> All right, but, uh, but I doubt I she's going to, so we'll, we'll just wait and see. Um, anyway, hang on. I'm sensing the card is black. Uh, yeah. Okay, now, uh, like I said, uh, black and white. Yeah, 
Yeah, I block you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. The world is... Oh, sorry, that's a bad joke. Anyway, um, anyway, so yeah, like I said, um, it's a black card. I'm sensing... Is it a club I'm sensing? I keep sensing a odd club. I keep sensing five points one way and two points the other. I keep sensing it's a seven of clubs. Yeah. Seven of clubs. There we go. So ladies and gentlemen, I think... Yeah, for a minute there she was about to run off with my wall, I think. But anyway, let's uh, let's take a look and see if I was right. What do you know? I was. <laughs> All right, you can, return, you can return to your seat, Rebecca. So let's see what else I've got on me that I haven't used in a while. Oh yes, I forgot about these guys. Um, I would like another volunteer, preferably a lady this time, since we've already had a lot of guys and a lot of ladies bounce up. You know. Well, we just yeah. Well, what the hell? One more time. Now, you're going to say another come on, yeah, come on, one more time. One more time. I'm kind of developing a rapport with you here. <laughs> All right. Um, by the way, I'm sensing, Rebecca, you have a boyfriend in the audience, correct? Yes. I'm sensing his name is Mark. Mark? Um, yeah, uh, Mark, I hope you don't get jealous by this trick, so just bear this in mind, okay? <laughs> Let's just the heads up. Hope you don't get jealous. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I've got two sponge balls with me, okay? This is relatively simple. Now I'm going to take one of the balls here, okay? I'm going to take one here. Now I'm going to hand you the second one, and I want you to squeeze it, okay? Just hold it. Just hold it tight. Now, at the count of three, I'm going to do a little bit of a disco wave, and I'm going to make the ball appear from here into her hand, okay? Ooh, that's a little tight. I didn't know she squeezed my balls that hard. <laughs> Thanks again, Rebecca. You've been a wonderful one. And like I said, Mark, I don't think you can get by that trick. I'll let it go this time. All right. He says I'll let it go this time, so. Yeah. Anywho. Yeah, anywho. Uh, enough bad, uh, anywho, bad jokes aside. Um, that's a close-up trick, which means I can't do it. Oh, oh, that's a personal trick of my own creation, but we'll get to that one later. This is one of my favorite tricks I like to do. This one is called mental selection, so I need another volunteer for this one. I need another volunteer. Bree. Bree. Come on up. Come on up. By the way, people, I'm paying my assistants very well. Just kidding. Okay. So anyway, um, like I said, what I'd like you to do for me is I have three basic symbols here. I have three basic symbols here, which I'd like you to select. I have the red circle, the blue waves, and the yellow star. I would like you to take this pen and point to one of them and say out loud which one you selected. Afterwards, I'm going to show you a prediction that I typed up in advance about which one you're going to select. So go ahead. So point to any line. Circle. Red circle. Red circle. Well, it just so happens that I happen to have one other. Uh, I happen to have a piece of paper over here. Would you be so kind as to read out loud into the mic what it says? You will select the red circle card. Uh. Can't tell you, Brie. If I did, it wouldn't be magic. So thanks again, Brie, for coming up. And uh, let's see here. I've also got a couple of others. Uh, well, actually, I've got a, I've got a couple of others in the same vein. Uh, so while we're on it, let's uh, do another. Tele yeah, let's do one more telepathy trick here. Um, this one I need. Uh, this one's more of a mind reader. So I would like a volunteer from the back. How about you in the beige jacket who's uh, reading something there? Rob. Beige jacket, black hat. Rob. Would you like to volunteer? Uh, no, I have to go. Okay, he has to go. All right. Well, then in that case, how about another volunteer here? Somebody else? Somebody else? Come on. All right, we'll tell you what, since we're uh, since nobody else is coming up as a volunteer, how about we declare a second intermission, and uh, everybody can go get drinks or what have you, and then when they come a little bit back, a little bit more tipsy, people will want to come and volunteer. So we're going to call a five-minute intermission this time, and when we come back, I'm going to have something special cooked up for you guys.